Hi guys! This video is going to be a collective haul, so all the stuff I bought from Gilly Hicks, Abercrombie Kits, and Abercrombie and & Fitch within the past month or so. I'm going to start with the clothes that I bought first, which are from Gilly Hicks, and I actually bought these online. It was probably my first online purchase ever, which is kind of exciting, and it turns out I love it. But I need to stay away from ordering too many things off the internet because it's so easy and I'm going to lose all my money. <laughs> I ordered these when there was a sale going on the online store only. I think it was 40% off your whole entire purchase. So I bought a pair of shorts and two shirts. If these shorts are still on the online website, they're going to be called Bateman's Bay. They are only slightly destroyed and it's a really light blue wash which is what I wanted because I'm not sure if I have any other light wash shorts. I bought shirt colors that I don't usually buy. These are definitely more fun because I typically buy a lot of navy because that's the main color of the store. So, I don't know, it just becomes too much wearing too much navy. I need to branch out and wear more fun colors. I'm looking at the online receipts so I can tell you guys how much I paid for these, but I'm not sure which shirt is which on the receipt. I think this one is called Darling Point, and after the discount or whatever promotion they were having at the time, I paid $7.50 for this. So this is just a very basic blue v-neck shirt, but I actually really like it. The color is super pretty. Not sure if it picks up on camera, but in real life it looks really cute. The only thing on it is the subtle GH logo, and then the tags now always have this cute little bow. So if this shirt is indeed Darling Point, then this one right here is going to be called Long Reef. I paid $11.92 for this one. It's this cute light blue cyanish color. It's another v-neck t-shirt. It's super cute when the flowers don't look like they're all dead like this. Usually they sit like this, pretty and blossomed all around the neckline, but for some reason it always gets bunched up and I always just iron it flat. So those are the three things that I bought from Gilly Hicks at the time. I actually really liked the packaging. It looked really nice and I wanted to show you guys, but I think I accidentally threw it away. So maybe if I order something from Gilly again, then I can show you guys in the video what the packaging looks like. So after this purchase, my next purchase was at Abercrombie & Fitch and it's this skirt right here. I adore this skirt. I had bought it when ANF was having the 50% off all skirt sale, so original price was $50, but I purchased it for $25. That's kind of expensive. I had my little brother with me in the store, and I was like, I'm in a dilemma. Should I buy this? Should I? Should I not? And he's just like, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't care. And even after I bought it, I was debating whether I wanted to return it or not. But obviously I kept it. I just love skirts and I love flowers way too much. <laughs> you should still be able to find the skirt in the Abercrombie & Fitch stores. I believe they're folded in half just like this on the shelf and currently they're 40% off. So um, they're redlined for around $34, $35 and then redlined for 40% off which is, what is that? 34, 3.4 times 4, so 12, around 12, 13 dollars off, I think. I'm going to feel silly if I did that math wrong. The next purchase came from Abercrombie Kids, and in my mind, I was thinking of what to wear with the skirt that I had just bought. I ended up with two white shirts. So this one here is another basic v-neck, except this one's white. The second white shirt is a Henley, which looks like this. I've been calling it a Henley, H-E-N-L-E-Y, because I just recently learned that it's a collarless shirt with buttons right here, but they don't go all the way down. So now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that Henleys can be for girls. I think that only applies to guy shirts. Though regardless, whenever I'm in a store and I see a shirt with no collar and buttons down like this, I'm always like, hey, that's a Henley. <laughs> I was just going to settle for one shirt, but I decided that it'd be good to have both the v-neck, a solid one, and this one, because this one does fit differently. The v-neck is a lot tighter, where this one kind of bows out, and the bottom is not cut just straight across. The buttons have this ruffle detailing, and there's a little pocket here, and the sleeves are sewn so they're rolled up once just like this. 
These were both marked down 50% off. I lost the receipt, so I'm not sure how much they were, but they both came out to be probably around $8. Okay, now back to Gilly Hicks. I hope this isn't too jumpy for you guys. For some reason, I thought that it'd be more logical to do it by the date that I bought it instead of just grouping all the Gilly Hicks or Abercrombie clothes together to show you guys. Anyhow, the next thing I bought was from Gilly Hicks, and I love it. Here it is. It's just this really sheer long top. It's pink and it has floral detailing just like this. Ruffles down the center along with buttons. Real buttons. I think they're real buttons. They're real buttons so you can unbutton them however you'd like. This was on clearance for $16, I believe. It has been in the store for a really long time, hovering around $30, and I've been waiting it to go lower and lower, but $16 is the lowest it's gonna go. It came in other colors, but this one was the only one left in my store. No big deal though, I still really like this shirt. Time to show you guys my most recent purchase, which was today. <laughs> So I always work openings at Gilly Hicks, so always in the morning, and really close to Gilly Hicks is an Abercrombie & Fitch, and then down the hall a bit there's a Hollister, and then an Abercrombie kit. So a lot of times after I work, I shop around my own store, and then I go to A&F, and then I just go to all the stores. So working in the mall with all of these stores is kind of a problem, but only because I love shopping. Gilly Hicks is having a really good sale right now. Bras are only $12.90 and underwear is $2.90. But for some reason, my associate's discount works on top of that. So I get bras for like $9 and underwear for like $2. Is it weird if I show you guys like the underwear and stuff that I bought? Will that weird you out? I guess I just won't show you guys in great detail. I only bought one bra and three pairs of undies. <gasps> That's kind of awkward. <laughs> I had this other one I liked, but it ended up not being a sale bra. Someone put it in the wrong spot. And of course, out of like the 500 bras, I would pick the one that's not clearance. This one is a really girly pink color. It's called the Reese. It's right here, R-E-E-S-E. -E. I bought a lacy pair of undies to match the bra. Look how cute it is. The style here is considered like the bloomers. This one's kind of lacy and it's just dark navy blue. The last one I bought also in the bloomer style, except this one's more silky and it has a blue floral print. That wasn't that bad, right? So after I bought those at Gilly Hicks, I went over to Abercrombie Kids. I wasn't really looking for anything. I guess I was just kind of drawn to the 40% off redline sale because the 50% off redline sale is like my favorite. I ended up buying three items. This one is a v-neck long sleeve maroonish color. I was debating on buying this because I don't really wear this color, but that could be a good thing that I did buy it because it's adding variety to my closet. Another reason why I didn't know if I wanted to buy it is because it's long sleeved. I don't like long sleeve shirts. Anything with sleeves, I just scrunch them up. It was on sale redline for $11.90, which means that it was 40% off. So. It was how much? About five ninety something, about six dollars. You know what? I'm gonna check that for real, just in case my math is a little off today. Cool, the ink in the receipt machine is dying, so it didn't print half of the numbers. <laughs> See, it couldn't even print the full Abercrombie. And this is how the number is printed. Luckily, I can still read it. This ended up being $5.94. Then I got this white tank top. I was looking really hard for this other white tank top. You know, it's just a standard tank top, but it had super cute ruffles and then a really cute bow. Though they didn't have any in my size. They were only size smalls and it was Abercrombie Kids. And Abercrombie Kids is for ages 8 through 16 roughly, so a small is pretty small. This was redlined for $13.90, so 40% off of that, it came out to be $8.34. The last item I bought was this cardigan. I do not believe I have a cardigan that's floral patterned like this one. 
thread line for about $30 and so it was an additional 40% off making this one $17.94. At Abercrombie Kids my size really varies. For the two white shirts that I bought a little while ago, these ones right here, I had to try them on and the v-neck I wore a size large but for this girl Henley right here I had to wear an extra large. The cardigan and long sleeve shirt are both extra large, but then this tank top right here is like a size medium. So yeah, it really, really varies. So those are all the clothing purchases I've made in about the last month. Um, fingers crossed that if you guys like the items that you can still find them in stores. And to wrap this video up, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!